Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I'm going to do a Traxxas Slash Servo Fix. Um, what ended up happening was my Traxxas Slash was having trouble steering, so I first thought it was the remote. So I, ha I had opened up the remote, and there was nothing wrong in there. I thought I fixed something when I bent a wire back, but that didn't do anything. And it just made my Traxxas Slash actually do it more. So then... As you can see, I have the stock servo right here. After I took it out, I realized it's pretty cheap quality. It's in a, it's a super expensive servo and it's really cheap quality. It's plastic gears and uh, it's really cheap and it's not that powerful. Now, this, this servo is about half the price of a Traxxas servo and it's, it's about $16 to $18 depending on where you buy it from. And um, it is... 20 it's a 20 kilogram servo and uh it has plenty of power to move this thing i just did this fix today and i took it out for a run and it works perfectly perfect it and now there's no more steering trouble it won't like before i would steer and then all of a sudden it would lock up and i couldn't steer i would steer and it wouldn't do anything and i had to force it back and then finally i'd have steering again now haven't had any steering trouble at all so this thing, I fixed it. This with the this is a this is obviously a cheap servo. If I could show you a weight comparison, this one's a lot heavier and it's metal gears. So yeah, don't go buy another stock servo. Buy this 20 kilogram digital servo. It's it's about half the price and a lot better quality. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And see you in the next video. Bye.